Hi, my name is Steven. It is I, Kevin. And I am David, the eldest champion. And we are the Brothers Born. We invite you to bear witness as this most unlikely of throwdowns is about to commence. Well, welcome back, everybody. Down for another throwdown. Down. That sounded weird, didn't it? Down for another throwdown. Down. Anyway, up for not. I don't know. That sounds weird. Anyways, um, I'm down, down to throw down, down to throw down, yeah, dude. down. down. Speaking. So that was Steven. He's going to be one of our contenders today. Um, of course, our other is going to be Brendan. Hello. Again. So I'm back uh, again. Uh, yeah, exactly. I think. Uh, I think we mentioned last time. Um, I'm pretty sure you've been on this uh, particular show this season more than uh, David is. So. <laughs> You are one of the bros now. You've always been one of the bros, but you're for sure one of the bros. So, there we go. Um, what kind of what kind of throw are we doing now? You guys, you guys got you guys ready? Oh, uh, I got ready. my character. Yeah, I have mine as well. Um, yeah, you can start, Steve. Okay, so yeah. my character is one that I brought. I didn't have a character submission, um, but I like this character a lot. He it's a it's a dude, and let's see. <laughs> it's a dude. Cool. That narrows it's it down. A dude, <laughs> um, he's from a nineteen. I think it's nineteen ninety eight cartoon, um, but also in some manga, and mm. I th- maybe I think there's a movie as well, though I have not seen that. Um, oh, nineteen ninety eight. Yep, there it is. Bam. Bam, bam, 1998. All right. So, started off as a manga series written and illustrated by Yashiro Naitao. It was uh, then became a shonen manga. I didn't know it was shonen. That's cool. Um, and uh, this character is well known for having spiky hair. Well, that narrows it down. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, oh, a manga character has spiky hair. Oh, man, <laughs> I think I might know who it is, but I've I've not actually read the manga either. But look, doing my research, I'm discovering there's a little bit more to the manga. A lot of times, the anime is just a reflection of the manga, but the, the manga is actually pretty different. It seems so. Um, looks like is this, the is this Vash Stampede? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I have to tell you the red coat. I, I was gonna nothing. say Vash as well. <laughs> Uh, I think you guys both know I've always been a big fan of Vash the Stampede. So, I'm, I'm, oh, plus I'm... your '98 spiky hair. I mean, it kind of was like <laughs> mm, it's probably Vash. I almost yeah, or did... every other manga character from 1998. That's true. <laughs> the one Steve, did, uh... Steve knows for sure is that. I want. I know for sure what. Uh, the ones that you would know for why well, oh, you yeah, were saying yeah. this one's close to me. I was like, this is probably Vash then. <laughs> Um, I almost did a Cowboy Bebop character, but I have a feeling Brennan's character is pretty OP. So I wanted to find someone that was a little more, uh, like, more than human. And I've discovered Vash is that. He is, uh, is a lot going on there. So Vash the Stampede. All oh, right. Right. Uh, I don't know if you're going to get, I, I doubt you'll get this, Kevin, to be honest. I don't know if you've done this, but uh, my character is, uh, he's from a game that came out in like 2006. Uh, in 2008 i think actually i think he was a listener submission if i recall so. yes uh from the sullivan no this is this one's from chad oh chad so chad thank, okay thank you listener chad for submitting this character um so my character is uh he is one of the like uh primordial humans that started at the beginning or well, not human just like that started at the beginning of the world he uh uses massive light spears uh has fought dragons they call him the lord of sunlight uh lord of cinder among other things yeah lord of, who, is he the lord of um all things blasting of lord of blasting matter though <laughs> no <laughs> okay uh 
It is uh, Gwyn, Lord of Cinder, from the game Dark Souls. Yes. He's the last boss and a big new character in the game. Yeah, Even I definitely haven't played any of those games, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm excited. I've always thought about playing those games, and now maybe you'll give me a little taste of what I'm missing. I've heard they're freaking hard, though, and that's kind of why I've stayed away. Um, but uh, They can be, uh, especially if you've never played them before. Yeah, so... Cool. Vash the Stampede versus Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. Uh, cool. I think this is an unlikely throwdown. I've never I'm sure these two have never fought each other. Uh yeah, I'm pretty sure they haven't either. So well, all right. Cool. Should we start with uh, abilities or well personality um, traits? Do personality, I guess, first. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, do that. Who would you like to go first, Kevin? Uh why don't, why don't you go, man? All right, you got it. So, all those of you guys have all watched Trigun at least once. Um, so, Vash is, he's very goofy, very, very silly guy. And especially in the beginning, the anime is, like, a lot more fun and funny and, like, lighthearted in the beginning of the series. And as the series goes on, it gets gradually darker and darker as you discover who Vash really is. Um, so, he kind of has a lot, he has a pretty dark history, actually. Um, and he has a lot of scars, both emotional and physical. Um, and he hides the, he hides behind this like guise of like happy go lucky, just eating donuts, like hitting on girls kind of character. And um, it's he has he has a what's the 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 bounty? Uh, it's it's a crazy amount. Sixty billion double dollars, I think it yeah, is, or sixty yeah, million, one of those two. Yes, it's a lot of money, double dollars, which. I've always thought that was funny. Double dollars. They don't have normal dollars. They have double dollars. But yeah, um, yeah. He's got this uh, are, bounty on what, him. Are double dollars t- worth twice as much as a regular dollar, though? See, I th- I wondered that, but on the planet of Gunsmoke, which is funny that this planet is called Gunsmoke. Also, before anyone lived there, they called it Gunsmoke. <laughs> um, but uh, they don't have normal dollars, so maybe like just because they were originally from Earth, they just oh new yeah, planet. I don't, I I don't just know. Just renamed it. But he has this huge bounty on him because he destroyed a city, um, and he people are always trying to get him. But he kind of because he hides behind this goofy character, they don't ever. It, it, it's hard to know whether he really is Vash the Stampede or not. Um, but yeah, he uh, he's pretty. Um, he has this his big I guess strength and flaw is he doesn't like killing people. He's very kind of. And I think he only kills one person in the entire series, maybe two. It's kind of ambiguous at the end whether he kills the final villain or not. Um, so you kind of, to his credit, but also to his flaw, depending on how you look at it. So he's very, very peace. He always goes around saying love and peace and does the peace sign with his hands. And uh, he loves people. He cares for people deeply. And uh, I don't know. He's a he's a nice guy. Okay. <laughs> uh so for Gwen, I'm just going to preface this just in case anybody who listens is like super Dark Souls because Dark Souls people, if there's one thing they love, it's their lore. And it's super <laughs> dense. It's not explained in the game. Well, it's explained in the game and like items and people piece it together. It's like a huge thing. I am not a lore expert on Dark Souls. I know some of it. I've played the games and I have explored a little bit of it. So if I am incorrect, do not send me hatred. <laughs> I will send you hatred. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I, I get that though. Like, well, not to extent because I've never played Dark Souls, but there, are, um, there's there's been a few games I've played where like there's like this huge deep lore outside of what you actually play, um, like and, uh, Splatoon. Splatoon's and I think, one like I think that. that's cool. I think, I think like it's there for the people who want to dive in, you know, but you don't have to necessarily. Yeah, Dark Souls is a little weird because it doesn't really tell you. Like, the story in the game is super base. Like, they don't tell you anything. It's all discovered, which is cool, but I am not an expert. But as far as I know from Gwyn, he was one of the, like, early... Like, in the beginning, there's just, like, darkness, and then there was this flame that was, like, the beginning of the world called the First Flame, and that's when, like, when, and he's, like, him and his, like, early primordial creatures were born, and he found, like, he, what's called, like, a Lord Soul, which is a super powerful soul. He started using it to make his kingdom 
of like people underground because above ground there's dragons that kind of rule the world ah. and he wanted to make a world above the ground because he didn't want to live underground and he wanted to fight dragons but dragons are pretty powerful and they would like take him out and stuff uh so he was pretty ambitious and wanting to get rid of these dragons uh there were eventually there was this dragon that betrayed the other dragons and uh ally allied with Gwyn and then allowed Gwyn to use the light of the sun using this crystal so he could throw light like giant light bolts at the dragons to break through their scales so he could actually oh, like take light, them out giant light bolts that's the thing yeah so he, he he throw they're called like spears of sunlight there's like a spell in the game that you could use it but yeah he throws giant spears of sunlight that broke it, through the dragon's uh scales so that he could actually take them out and it, become like Make a kingdom of ground. If you throw a spear of sunlight and hit a like prism, does it break into like several smaller spears of uh, sunlight? Uh, like, can I you don't... can you turn your spear into a shotgun of sunlight with the prism? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> as far as far as I know, he doesn't do that. He just throws. He just, it, it looks like he's kind of like like a I Zeus. Think he's almost. inspired by Zeus, so he's kind okay. of Zeusy, uh, but he's not like <laughs> kind of Zeusy. <laughs> So he's That's like what they all say about me. Wants, wants to make this kingdom above ground. I'm kind of uh, Zeusy. <laughs> he's so okay. Is he the yeah. character you play as, or is he somebody else in the game? He's the last boss. Oh, that's what you said. That last boss. Okay. Um, he's generally not like evil. He just wants to like. He brings in like an age of fire, which is like a golden age of like a civilization and stuff. But he does find these like pygmy people that are kind of like humans uh that want like the darkness to come back so he burns their souls so they're mortal and they die and then basically banishes them so that's kind of evil so that's how they become dark souls then right is that the whole uh kind of okay kind of uh, so, to to not go too into it, kind you're you're about some semi right, but yeah, he also found out one of his sons was con consulting with dragons and banished him. So that's not a good person either. But he he was generally like wanted the world. He had like dominion over the world and he wanted prosperity. So he wanted the like age of fire, which is like light to last forever. Eventually light was fading so he went and sacrificed himself to basically make it so that the light would never end but it would just like be like a time loop that keeps going over and over again so that the world would never go to darkness which is a kind of selfless but at the same time he was doing it out of selfish reasons and so at a party your guy wins 100% because he could one up everybody I'm kind of Zeusy. My son consults with dragons. Like, yeah, pretty you can't beat that. Like, that's, <laughs> no matter what any Vash says about himself, like, he, like people are always going to think that's cool. Um, uh, I'm not going to go too much deeper into that lore because he does have more, but that's okay. like the gist. He's like, he's uh, ambitious. He m made like a dominion over the world and then he kind of didn't want it to ever end. So he sacrificed himself to kind of let it internally go on even if the world decays from endless like time never ending basically so this is interesting you mentioned this because it kind of reminds me a little bit of vash's brother knives so vash and knives it's sort of their fault that people exist on this planet gunsmoke because they're in this they're part of their they are both plants and they're in this spaceship um and then like knives kind of like knives <laughs> knives knives um and they kill the crew on the spaceship and all these seeds or like people seeds get like dispersed onto the planet Gunsmoke. So like both your guy and Vash have assisted in the creation of a world, which is kind of a kind of a cool, cool like parallel with them. Um, Knives hates humans. Vash loves humans. And it's kind of like this this ongoing battle between the two of them. Who has who names him? Who it's named Knives? That's a weird name. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Knives. All right, let's take a quick break and we will start going into abilities. A wise man once said, Cash rules everything around me. It's all about the money. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Now, the brothers born are definitely not part of the Wu Tang clan. But the sentiment, well, it's still true. When it comes down to it, making content that we do, 
can have some costs when it comes to equipment and certain fees. This is where you come in as a listener. No obligation here, but if you do like what we have and you would like to contribute a little bit of funds our way so we can improve our content, um, there's three different tiers of payment which you can use. The first one is a simple, cheap tier of 99 cents. Not too bad. Uh, next tier would be 4.99, or if you're straight balling, 9.99 for the third tier. Now there's no obligation here. We're gonna do the content either way, but we definitely would appreciate a little uh, help. Thank you in advance, and we look forward to providing more content for you. Um, welcome back, everybody. We are gonna get into some abilities. I didn't want to say we were talking about some. You know, before our little break there, we were talking about knives. How oh, it's a weird name, unrelated, but Scar from Lion King was his name Scar before he got a scar. <laughs> like, <laughs> how did that that's work? Because like, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Maybe yeah. he was born with that scar. That wouldn't be a scar then; it'd be a birthmark. So his name should be Birthmark. Yeah, but that's a terrible name. Hey, my name's Birthmark. Nice to meet you. No one likes that. It's like Scar is any better? Well, like it sounds cooler. Like I'm Scar. Like you can almost one up Sir Gwyn. I'm just saying, if you name your party, child, if you name your, your child name Scar, Scar, he's he's inevitably going to try to be like a a mean person because you named him Scar. It's like by default they should have named him like I don't know, like big hearted, happy, fun time guy, and then he wouldn't have been like an evil, like you know, dude. My name is Mufasa. This is my brother, big happy heart, fun time guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not talking, he's pretty we're not great. talking about Mufasa, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get back into our battle here. Okay. Um, so Vash's abilities. I'm going to start off with the more basic ones first. Um, just like, because he's a gunslinger. You know, he's going around. Um, he's It's a cowboy. It's a sci-fi western, you could say. So he has, his main thing is his gun, his weapon, the 45 Long Colt, which, if you look at it, doesn't make a whole lot of sense because the barrel is in a different place than the hammer. But... Uh, no, there's matter. there's guns like that. Okay, so it can be done. Yeah. Okay, so his his gun always kind of puzzled me a little bit, but um, him and his brother Knives have the same gun. Vash is silver, Knives is black. It's a pretty cool revolver. It actually has seven chambers, I think I read, which is kind of interesting. Kind of a different spin on. The, you got to do something to make it unique. Um, he's very proficient with this, even when he's drunk. In fact, when he's drunk, it seems like it's people are like. I'm impressed that he can fire so well, even though it, um, he's under the influence. Um, so that's his main weapon is that gun. And there's there's another detail about that gun I want to talk about, but I'll get to that later. Gener like just day in, day out, it's just an ordinary revolver, but there is a special ability of it later. Um, he also, his left arm is a cybernetic machine gun arm. So his hand dips down and the his wrist becomes a barrel and he fires bullets out of that. Because um, his whole, his left arm was cut off by his brother knives, blown off by his brother knives way when they were kids. So he got this cybernetic arm. Um, looking at him, you wouldn't know because he covers it with bandages and stuff. But he uh, he has this cool gun arm, which is pretty neat. Oh, dude, him and Barrett ought to have a little gun arm competition. Um, let's see. He has a knife in his boot, so he just like kicks his boot down. A little knife pokes out the toes. That's pretty cool. You can use that. There's there's opportunities to be like i've always seen that and like i think it's in a james bond movie too i'm like that's kind of weird like you have to be very precise with your kicks but i could see how it could be helpful and like in a pinch you have your boot knife thing um at the end of the series not in the beginning but at the end uh he does acquire uh, nicholas t wolfwood's cross punisher it's a big giant cross that is a giant gun the cross is a gun and inside the arms of the cross are a bunch of little, little guns um and that thing is he uses that in the final battle against knives and uh he also had there's he's he in one episode he uses a ak-47 it looks like for um one of his battles so those are like his basic everyday weapons um you got the revolver you got the gun arm you got some if you're talking about later he's got the big cross with all the different guns attached to it and the boot knife so um pretty pretty helpful i'd say uh in your in your regular combat i cool. see i mean guns and stuff are cool for sure but like 
I want to take that bolts sunlight. of light. <laughs> Tons of stuff are cool. I'm feeling Zeusy. Tons of stuff are cool. Man, Brittany's full of good ones today. <laughs> also, he um he has a a giant great sword called the Great Lord Great Sword that Wait, that infuses. Again, it's say, it's say called. That the Great Lord Great Sword. It's not the greatest <laughs> name. I'll give you that. Great Lord Great Sword. Great Lord uh, Great Sword. <laughs> he is very fast and very uh, quick with it. He's very quick with it, and he uh, in, in, imbues it with fire. So when you get hit, it's got, it's got like huge fire trails of magic on it. He can grab you and ex- blow you up with fire and knock you away. He has a uh, a kick that you know kind of like bashes but no knife but he when he does his kick it's pretty beefy and knocks you knocks you out beefy kicks uh he has very quick where he can be very far away and just thrust at you <laughs> wait wait yeah, I mean, hold he, on he, like, he's very pelvic thrust he, no just, just <laughs> okay sword, sword that'd thrust. be amazing <laughs> He's he's well versed in in close range combat as well as long range combat with his magical prowess with using uh the spears of the sun he's also pr- has uh prowess in using lightning based uh moves as well and he uh he's pretty much entirely immune to lightning for some reason <laughs> because he's half god i guess that's interesting. He's immune to lightning. Man, that's the kind of guy you want around during a storm uh, to walk around with. Walk around with his great lord, great sword. <laughs> he just he pulls it in the air, it absorbs the lightning, and you're safe, man. Plus, before you even get to confront him, he has he has an entourage of these knights that are... Oh. Uh, they used to be silver knights, but then they kind of went to the abyss and became some black knights. But they're still super strong, um, pretty much loyal to the death. He he posts them around, and they do some horrible things. Like they have arrows that are the size of like lances that they shoot at you. Well, let me hit you with this, Bash. He's got superhuman physiology. He's not actually human. Like I said, he's a plant. Um, he belongs to the race of organic generators. So he is a walking generator. Um, but because he is superhuman psych, psych physiology, he is able to dodge bullets and movements of like weapons and things. He can like instantly predict their trajectories and then dodge out of the way. So that's... I don't know if those lances could be a big problem for Vesha Stampede. But is is he able to dodge sunlight spears as well as giant arrows being shot from a bunch of different knights at the same time? Hmm. Well, well, there's I have some contention with that one because um, I, I feel like these knights would be like an outside resource in a way. Okay, I see what you mean. That means I can't oh, use so... I can't use Wolfwood or Merrill or Millie. Is that I can't have them help me out? I mean, I don't know how well they'll do. Against nights of darkness, whatever, but yeah, sure, fair enough. Fair yeah, enough. We yeah just, no, you, okay, we'll ignore, we'll ignore the outside resources then. Okay, so so Vash is pretty good at dodging like lightning bolts and stuff, but yes, yes. once uh, Gwen can close the distance really quick because he's very speedy and just once he gets in hand to hand combat, I, I with with just a gun, I find it hard to believe that Vash is going to have an easy time getting in there. Well, it's a good thing you said just a gun, because there's more to Vash than meets the eye. Um, he also has angel power. That's right. Angel power. He is able to transform his body to some extent, increasing his combat abilities. He uh, he can produce um, a large amount of energy and use it for lots of purposes, because he's a generator. He can generate energy, mm-hmm. right? So he has... I don't remember this in the show, but... Um, Trigun Wiki doesn't lie to me. He has uh, defensive wings. Um, I remember that. I remember having those so weird he wings. He has these like wings that will. Oh yeah, he did have that. Uh, block powerful blows that are directed at him. It's a self defense mechanism. Um, and it actually will happen whether or not he's conscious of it or not. Apparently, um, it's an activated angel power, so it works independently from his own consciousness. So, so it's like an internal defense mechanism. Something comes out of wings, bam. Um, during his battle with Legato, uh, in the manga, he, um, 
these wings kind of become like little defensive blades. And anyone who enters these blades, chop, 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 chop in pieces, baby. Or they just cut them up a little bit. It doesn't chop in pieces. Necessarily. Why are they chopping up into pieces of baby? That's <laughs> So he's got defensive wings. Um, <laughs> they take the form of blades. So like you got these sharp blades around him, which is pretty, pretty cool. So your little energy bolts, your little Zeusy power. I don't know. It's going to make a, he, he just blocks that junk, dude. Like a great sword, what is it? Power sword, great sword. What is it? Wait. Uh, it's a great. Yeah, he has a great sword. What's it called? That's a, that's a name. <laughs> the Great Lord's Great Sword. <laughs> the great Lord's Great Sword. <laughs> my defensive blade wings are uh, the, the the Great Lord Great Sword is no match for my my wings here. So, uh, it, is your wing rated against uh, sunlight spears? <laughs> well, here's the thing. I say yes because I mean. But A, he lives on a planet that has two suns, so uh, he's Is already Catherine? pretty. Uh, no, the uh, gun smoke, bro, has two suns. That's why it's no, a desert. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like Tatooine. That's true. It is kind of like Tatooine. Huh. Anyways, so he lives on this this uh this planet with two suns, and he is he's got like this generator, so he can like, you know, he he can instill energy and light into other plants and things, and I feel like that might have a little bit of a effect with maybe like he could just absorb the lightning bolts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are like solar flares. I guess like pure sunlight. Oh. I mean, I'm not sure. What do they even describe this as? Uh, spears of sunlight. Dude, if you're going to have a spear or something, though, it might as well be sunlight. <laughs> like... <laughs> Like if you had a spear of, I don't know, moonbeams versus a spear of sunlight, I'm pretty sure just a sunlight spear would win for sure. Yeah, that's true. Or a spear of electric light. All it okay. says is, Gwyn wielded these rays of sunlight, which remained fierce even as they fade. <laughs> fierce even <laughs> as they fade. <laughs> but they they are like lightning bolts, but I guess like with sudden power instead. So like would be kind of like you're wielding solar flares and launching them. That is, a, that is pretty significant. I, I, you're right. I can't really dispute that. That is a powerful move. Um, But I just learned Vash can teleport. Uh, he's able to teleport accurately over vast distances. That's convenient. <laughs> <laughs> I just learned this. It's like, just, it's like when you're a kid and you're like, when you're like, well, you know, having like a super hero battle as a kid, and you're like, oh, yeah, well, now I can fly. Well, I'm invincible. You just keep like coming up with powers. All right, all right. Teleportation. I don't remember that in the anime. It's on this wiki article. But this other one I do remember. After spending some time concentrating energy, he can actually make like a large, like protective barrier. And this barrier is capable, it, it, it withstood the blast of a missile. So um, that is a. That's pretty significant. Magnetic missile is not solar flares, but it still has a. It could slow yeah. down some things for sure. I think that it would just mostly come down to whether or not lightning bolt, sunlight bolts, pierced your defenses. And, and once you got into like hand to hand combat, I think it would be pretty. It would be pretty like you would mostly be on the defensive as Vash because I mean he does all this defensive stuff, but how does he counter to come back? Like yeah, if you, you might be able to defend all of the sword attacks, but what is he doing? Trying to kick a blade boot? <laughs> no, dude, he uses the armed machine gun or his revolver. That's true. His revolver, he can create black hole bullets. Um, so he materializes oh, oh. bullets into empty shells, and they turn in when it fires them. It uh, the mini collapsers. Uh, suck it. It sucks everything into the the black hole bullet for several seconds. He didn't didn't Gene Starrow from Lost Star <laughs> didn't his caster bolt gun yeah, or whatever have some bullets like that? That something like that too. That'd be an interesting match. Um, so they they tear the enemy apart. Um, be useless a lot of times defensively because, like I said, he doesn't like killing people. I will. That is going to be. I mean, he has done it. He killed Legato. And I, it's sort of implied he killed knives, though I don't remember for sure. I think it's sort of like up to the viewer. 
Um, so he can do it. He just has a really, he struggles with that a lot. He usually tries to find some other way to get across to these people. And I think your guy, being that he's like almost God level, he helped create this planet. Uh, um, yeah, he, he, he kind of is like immortal, but he does eventually give up that like kind of, n- not give it up, but give up a lot of his power to make it so that the world doesn't end basically. So it's always eternally in like kind of a, like a light stage, but a decaying light to where the world just decays more and more. So I feel like Vash might be able to pass, be like peaceably approach this guy and like kind of use his his whole like stop killing people thing that he's going for to like touch on the heart of Sir Gwyn and maybe like, Hey man, you don't have to kill anybody and just calm them down that way. Maybe. Uh, I, I don't think he'd be receptive because like he, he doesn't even talk to you when you fight him. You just walk in and he fights. What a rude dude. Freak man. Yeah. You got to at least talk to your hey, opponent. Jeez. When you have a sword, what is it? The Lord of sword? sword, great Lord sword. Yeah. Great Lord, mm-hmm. great sword. Yeah, great lord. There you go. Great lord, great lord. When you have one of those, like, you kind of have to just fight. Yeah. Well, let me hit you with this, Brennan. And this is kind of my fascist ultimate. This is what destroyed the city. So inside the revolvers, if I want to come back to it, there's a little catalyst that is used to activate angel arm. Do you guys remember the big old weird plant arm? Yeah. Tree yeah, trunk destroyed July, could... right? Yep. So it's like a, almost like a giant tree trunk arm. Comes up, his arm becomes a tree trunk, and it could blast. Um, it's it's called the angel arm. It could blast a, a lot of energy, and it actually leveled an entire city. So it's almost like a like an atomic bomb on his arm that he uses. Um, and in the beginning, he kind of struggles. He can't really control it too bad, but he does. By the end, he has a greater ability to control the angel arm. It looks really weird. I don't like the way it looks. If I'm being honest, but it is powerful, um, and as he uses it, his hair loses color, which is interesting. Um, <laughs> it, like, it shows the level of his power. This is like a one and done thing. He can't just keep using it over and over again. Charges up like Spirit Bomb by Goku. You know, he charges up and uses it. But it would, I think, this would be the finding, the final touch, in in, in the destruction of uh, Sir Gwyn here. Just the angel arm. I'll give you that, but most of the time when he uses it, it's at like a long range. If if yeah, he uses true. it true. close range, he's going to be caught in the blast too, I believe. That is a fair point. So even if it does take out, it's taking you out too, more than likely. And that's where I come back to these black hole bullets. I think that is, you got to talk about solar power, black hole, Trump solar power. Uh I, I mean, can't, I in, actually can't argue with that. In, in real, <laughs> real physics, I think that's even true. So, in real physics, that's even true. Yeah. So that is, uh, that is my Vash. Do you have? I, I, don't, I don't have any. I have a couple quotes I could share, perhaps, but I. Uh, think I, uh, I have a quote, but it's not by him because he doesn't really have any quotes. But there's someone to quote about him. Yeah, let's let's hear it. Let's hear it. All right, so this is uh, from a dude who actually really did not like him, um, but he was like a, a like a serpent. He's like a primordial serpent, and uh, he was he tells you about Gwyn, like a dark account of him. And he's a Lord Gwyn trembled at the dark, clinging to his age of fire and in dire fear of humans, and the Dark Lord who would one day be born among them. Lord Gwyn resisted the course of nature by sacrificing himself to link the fire. He and commanded his children to shepherd the humans. Gwyn has blurred your past to prevent the birth of the Dark Lord. Oh. That's some biblical junk right there. Yeah, dude. That's pretty... yeah. Well. Oh. Let's talk about biblical junk here. Last year, there's something that cannot be expressed in words, human emotion. Emotions of the heart can't be just tucked away in a closet. There's a way to know the emotion. I don't like that one. Let's let's skip that one. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Okay. Hey, thou shalt not kill, remember? What kind of church man are you? Says that to Nicholas T. Wolfwood. So if your guy's like godlike, right? So probably have some churches or some shrines that are devoted to this dude. And you could say, hey, yeah, there are. Kill, There's like statues and stuff of him. What kind of church man are you? <laughs> and of He's course, not a church man. He only cares about keeping the world, like the the world, away from the dark, basically. 
And of course we have, no one has the right to take the life of another. That's his whole thing. That was like uh, one of the reasons I like this character so much because he was like this really positive hero who didn't like killing people uh, uh, during a formative time of my life. Not that I was ever planning on killing anybody, but just uh, I really, I looked up. Yeah, if it wasn't for Trigun, you'd be a serial killer. <laughs> I looked true. up, I, like as a, on a personal touch, I looked up to Vash the Stampede as a kid. I remember thinking like, this is a cool guy. I want to be like him. Um, I remember thinking, thinking that. And he's super old. Um, he's like hundred and something years old, and he uh, does not age very much. He, in fact, he went from infant to adolescent in a year. Uh, Gwen is also very old, with thousands of years old, probably, but I don't know the exact number. He probably has more. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. More, more seasoned experience, perhaps. But well, that's where I'm at. I got nothing else for Vash. I feel pretty comfortable with what I've declared. And uh, I settle there. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, all I got is that he is an expert at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Has lightning spears. Is godlike. Uh, black hole bullets are kind of lame. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, I don't know. They have some difficulty with this one for sure. I do think, um, you know. Uh, Gwen here would probably. I think Brendan is right in the sense that you know, if they were in hand to hand combat, I think there's a good chance that you would have an advantage for sure. Um, and initially, I want to give it to him because I feel like you know, he's like this powerful godlike being, and then you know, um, I'm thinking Vash is like, oh, he's just a dude with a gun, but as you talk about him, you look more into Vash's ability and stuff, he too is kind of a godlike being in a lot of ways. Um, overall, I'd have to say I have to give it to Vash. Sorry, Brendan. I, no, that's I good. Got to. <laughs> it's just because he's got he's, he's got, got like a lot, lot. I forgot about all the stuff Vash has. Yeah, like and you have a tendency to forget that because of his nature of his character. But when you start thinking about like his angel powers and his defense abilities and his black hole bullets, um, <laughs> yeah, just I don't know. I think he's got it. Thank you. And I, I want the rec. I I appreciate this because I know. Deep down, Brendan always wants you to win, and you always want Brendan to win. So I, I know this was a <laughs> sacrifice for you. So I appreciate you. Uh, I mean, you're not wrong. There's times when I've when I've gone against Brendan where I was like, Nah, I, I think Brendan needs to take this one. But <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't make me very good. I'm at never that. coming back again. <laughs> <laughs> never coming back again. So, but thank you, Chad, for submitting a uh, character, uh, Sir Gwyn. Uh, what's his, what's his little tag, Sir Gwyn? Uh, I think Lord of Cinder is basically what he is at the end. Okay. Lord of Cinder. So appreciate you sending that character in. Um, but but bonus points to to Sir Gwen for having the uh the great sword, Lord, great <laughs> Lord, great sword, <laughs> great Lord, great sword. Yeah, I mean that's you, you can get it in that. the game too after you beat him. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm like when it comes to like I mentioned earlier, parties. Sir Gwen's always gonna win. Like as far as impressing people at parties, for sure. I got the great lord great sword. My son consults the dragons. I'm a little bit like Zeus. <laughs> I'm not very Zeusy. Like yeah, always, right. always went in there. But well, thanks. This was fun. Thanks for hanging out, yeah. everybody. Uh, we have a our last throw down, throw down was, I think, also with Brendan. Yeah. So we did it Krillin, yeah. Krillin, and uh, King Babam. Check that one out. Oh uh, yeah. Kev and Kevin and I on our other podcast, Brothers Born Podcast, Kevin and I discuss some fast food that we like and don't like, and uh, it's kind of fun. We discuss a little bit about that, and we also give each other a challenge, so, which I haven't done yet. I got to do that this week. So check that out. Uh, two two cool things to listen to, and there's also all of our backlog, all of our all of our other episodes. So yeah, and if you have an idea for a throwdown, email us at brothersbornpodcast at gmail.com or send it to us on social media, Facebook, or uh, email. That'd be great. I'd love to hear from you. Yes. And goodbye. Until next time. Yes, until next time. Goodbye. <laughs>